Hello students today we will learn about Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 Microsoft PowerPoint is a presentation graphics software developed by Microsoft It comes as an integral part of the Microsoft Office suite of applications PowerPoint is used to create and display beautiful presentations that include text pictures charts diagrams audio video and animated special effects Let us learn about presentation. A presentation is a collection of slides arranged in a systematic order that displays the information along with graphics, sound and animation. Slide. A slide is like a page of PowerPoint presentation that displays some information about a topic. How is a presentation helpful? A PowerPoint presentation help us in presenting the views and ideas effectively by creating a good visual impact on the audience. People in the business world can use it to present information about their products or company in seminars and meetings. PowerPoint is an effective tool to present and organize the course contents in the classroom and encourage students learning. Let me share an interesting fact with you. The five best free animated presentation software are Powtoon, Google Drive Presentation, 280 Slides, Slide Rocket, Prezi. Another fact to note is that to create a shortcut for microsoft powerpoint 2016 drag its icon from the start menu to the desktop let us find out how to start powerpoint 2016 to start with powerpoint 2016 follow the given steps click on start then go to scroll down to powerpoint 2016 when you open powerpoint 2016 the start screen appears Select the blank presentation thumbnail from the screen. A new blank presentation named Presentation One will be opened in the presentation window. Students, let's take a quick view. The shortcut to create a new presentation is Control plus N key combination. Okay, let us learn about various components of PowerPoint 2016. PowerPoint 2016 consists of the following components: Title Bar. It displays the name of the presentation on which you are currently working. Quick access toolbar. It contains the frequently used commands and is placed at the extreme left of the title bar. You can also place this toolbar below the ribbon. To do so, click on the drop-down arrow at the end of the toolbar and select the show below the ribbon option. To add more commands to the quick access toolbar, right-click on any command on the ribbon and click on Add to Quick Access Toolbar. ribbon the ribbon is placed at the top area of the document it displays several tabs such as file home insert design transitions animations etc each tab contains commands which are organized into different groups ruler the two rulers vertical or horizontal are located at the top and to the left of the current slide respectively the ruler makes it easy to align text and objects on the slide slide pane it is the middle section of the powerpoint window where you can work directly on individual slides slides navigation pane the slides navigation pane is a small window on the left side of the presentation window it shows a thumbnail version of each slide if you want to see the large view of any thumbnail click on it the selected slide appears in the slide pane You can add, delete, duplicate and rearrange slides in the slide navigation pane. Notes pane. It is placed right below the slides area. The notes pane provides space to add notes to the current slide. It is also known as speaker's notes. Comments. In this area, reviewer may leave comment for any slide. View buttons The view buttons are displayed towards the left of the zoom control slider on the status bar. You can view the slides in different formats. Number 1, normal. Number 2, slide sorter. Number 3, reading view. Number 4, slide show. Zoom control slider. To zoom in or out, click and drag the slider to use the zoom control. The number to the right of the slider reflects the zoom percentage. PowerPoint 2013. The components of PowerPoint 2013 are similar to PowerPoint 
Students know that there are two scroll bars, vertical and horizontal. You can move the screen display towards right or left using the horizontal scroll bar and shift it up and down with the help of vertical scroll bar. Let us learn how to create new presentation. A new presentation can be created in the following two ways. By using blank presentation. By using templates. Ok, now let us learn how to create blank presentation. To create a presentation, follow the given steps. Start PowerPoint. When the start screen appears, either press the escape key or select the blank presentation thumbnail. Or if the PowerPoint application is running. Click on the file tab to go to backstage view. Select the new option and then click on the blank presentation. A new blank presentation appears in the PowerPoint. By default, it contains only one slide with dotted rectangular boxes called placeholders. These placeholders hold text, images and other objects on a slide. Let me tell you that if you have opened a presentation recently, you can browse your recent list rather than searching for the file. Students, let's take a quick view. The shortcut to create a new presentation is Ctrl plus N key combination. Students, let us know more. By default, PowerPoint application opens with title slide as its first slide. Let us learn how to add text in placeholder. Click on the click to add title placeholder. The cursor blinks inside the text box. Now type some text, say Kip's computer books. Similarly, select the click to add subtitle placeholder and type some text, say Learning PowerPoint 2016. Now click outside the text box. You will notice the enter text appears on the slide in the slide pane. Now let us learn how to create presentation using templates. Start PowerPoint 2016. A start screen appears displaying the list of templates. Double click on the template thumbnail that you wish to use. Or click the thumbnail to preview the template first and then click on the create button. You can also create a presentation based on online templates. When the start screen appears, enter a term related to the template you are looking for in the search box at the top of the page. Click on the search button or click one of the suggested searches present below the search box. Here we have selected education category. A gallery of online templates will open. Select the desired template and click on the create button. Here we have selected children playing education presentation design template. The selected template will open as a new presentation containing group of slides with different backgrounds. Let me share with you that a template is a pre-designed presentation that includes custom formatting and designs. It can save a lot of time and efforts when starting a new presentation. Let us learn how to save presentation. To save the presentation, Click on the file tab and select the save option. The save as window appears. Or click on the save button on the quick access toolbar. Select the browse option. The save as dialog box will open. Select the location where you want to save the file. Specify the name my presentation in the file name text box. Click on the save button. The presentation will be saved with the name My Presentation having an extension .pptx. Students know that we can also save our presentation by using the Ctrl plus S key combination. PowerPoint 2013. Select the Save option on the File tab to save the presentation. Students, let's know the fact. Also use save as command if you want to save an already existing document again with a new name without deleting the original file. Let us learn how to close and exit a presentation now. To close the presentation, click on the file tab. Select the close option. The presentation will be closed, but the PowerPoint application window will remain open. To exit the presentation, Click on the close button on the title bar or use Alt plus F4 key combination. Let me tell you that if the changes in a document are not saved, PowerPoint 2016 will prompt you to save the changes. You should close the document only after saving it. 
PowerPoint 2013. We can close and exit the presentation in PowerPoint 2013 in the same way as we do in the PowerPoint 2016. Let's run how to open a presentation. To open an existing presentation, click on the file tab. Select the open option from the drop down menu. The options related to open will display in the right pane. Click on the browse button. The open dialog box will appear. Locate and select the file name to be opened and click on the open button. Let me tell you that we use the open option on the file tab to open any file in PowerPoint 2013. Students, let's take a quick view. Pressing the Alt key displays the shortcut key for each tab. To open any particular tab and its commands, press the Alt key along with the specific shortcut key. For example, Alt plus H key combination opens the Home tab. Let us learn how to run a presentation now. After making slides for your presentation, you can run the presentation using F5 key. This will let you view the slides in progression on the screen. Let me share some shortcut keys with you. Press Ctrl plus P key combination to print the slides. To view the slideshow from a particular slide, open that slide and press Shift plus F5 key combination. Ok students, let us take a recap of this chapter. A presentation is a collection of slides arranged in a systematic order that displays information along with graphics, sound and animation. A slide is like a page of a PowerPoint presentation that displays some information related to the topic. The slide pane is the middle section of the PowerPoint window where you can work directly on the individual slides. The slide navigation pane is a small window on the left side of the presentation window. Notes pane is placed right below the slides area. It provides space to add notes to the current slide. A new presentation can be created in the following two ways. By using blank presentation. By using templates. By default, a presentation contains only one slide with dotted rectangular boxes called placeholders. A slide layout refers to the general arrangement of various components on the slide. 